when you get up on Veterans Day, the actual day, go out, stand under a beautiful tree like we have here. And if you can find a flag, hold a flag right here. Remember where it came from. Remember why it's the flag of this country. Remember what was done for it and hopefully will be done always for it because that's what Veterans Day means to me. Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Disler, the Mayor of Shawnee. Thank you for joining us for this special virtual Veterans Day event. We would rather be together in person and are very hopeful to be able to do that again next year. Now to the important part of honoring you, our veterans. Honor God, ten hut, port arms. Prepare to fire. Ready, aim. Ready, aim. Fire. Ready, aim. Present arms. Office of the Mayor a proclamation in recognition of Veterans Appreciation Day. Whereas on November 11, 1918, fighting ceased in World War I and armistice between the Allied forces and Germany went into effect. And whereas in November of 1919, President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed November 11 as the first commemoration of Armistice Day. And whereas in 1954, the United States Congress officially renamed Armistice Day as Veterans Day in order to honor American veterans of all wars. And whereas the city of Shawnee is dedicated to honoring the sacrifice of the millions of veterans of the United States who have served in lands, both foreign and domestic, to defend our nation's freedom. And whereas as tangible evidence of the foregoing, the city of Shawnee on November 8, 1992, established a memorial and park as a national tribute to all veterans. And whereas local organizations, including Shawnee VFW Post 10552, American Legion Post 327, and Sons of the American Revolution Monticello Chapter also go above and beyond to support our military veterans. And whereas Shawnee will continue to support and honor those serving in our armed forces and in the words of one of our founding fathers, Alexander Hamilton, who said, there is a certain enthusiasm in liberty that makes human nature rise above itself in acts of bravery and heroism. Therefore, I, Michelle Disler, the mayor of the city of Shawnee, Kansas, do hereby proclaim November 11, 2021 as Veterans Appreciation Day and encourage all of our citizens to honor and support those who serve and protect our nation. Veterans Day is a time to honor veterans. 
uh, current veterans and past veterans. It's important uh, in our society and that's why I think uh, that our society needs to understand that segment of society that defended and fought our, for our country. Um, our country needs reminded of that. Our country needs uh, to understand about patriotism. Our country needs to understand that um, people gave their lives, people fought for this country, and they willingly did that. Memorial Day is about the veterans that have passed away. Veterans Day, though, is about the veterans that are still alive. Um, and to go up to someone and to say thank you, to be appreciative of what they do, um, it's the kind of thing that you can reflect on this time of year to say, hey, I know a veteran, um, I'm gonna tell them thank you, and I'm gonna make sure that they're doing okay, and make sure that their life is well, along with uh, anything else that they may need in life. To me, it's really a great time to catch up with friends and family and, and reflect on what my service really means to me and, and to them as well. I can stand tall and pay homage to the flag that we fought for, that we carry in our hearts, that we salute every day, um, and work very hard at making sure that those behind us understand what it is. And so you take that day to reach into your heart and remember what they did for us. Honoring our veterans is important now on Veterans Day and also on every single other day. To me, Veterans Day is a time to pause, to show honor and reverence for the dedication, commitment, and sacrifice our veterans have made and those serving now are making. We are fortunate to have dozens of veterans and active service members working at the city of Shawnee. Let's pause to honor them now. The City of Shawnee launched the Hometown Hero Project this year to show honor and respect for our veterans. When you drive up and down Neiman Road between Shawnee Mission Parkway and 55th Street from July to November, you'll now see the names of local men and women who have served and are still serving our community. And an important reminder is their sacrifice and hopefully a small way we at the City can honor them and all that they have done. To see people and give them People, you know, shake my hand. Oh, I, yeah, I know you. You know, you're the guy with the banner up there. So thanks for your service. And again, it's one of those awesome things that you're just really appreciative and touched that, you know, the community recognizes who you are and what you do. And it's just kind of a touching moment, I guess, basically for me. I was beyond proud to be joined earlier this year by several local service members as they presented a plaque officially recognized the city of Shawnee as a Purple Heart City. The Military Order of the Purple Heart started the Purple Heart Trail, which is a collective effort where cities and counties display the Purple Heart logo on their street signs and markers to serve as a reminder for anyone who might notice them to keep gratitude and reverence for the price of our freedom at the present. This, in addition to our Freedom Award that recognizes how the city supports our employees who are active in the Guard and the Reserve are all the ways we work to make sure our military members understand how much we care about them. To be honest with you, uh, 
It got it had been touching me for all those years to the point that uh, I decided it was time to recognize this city for what they do because they did things like when I was gone, the guys would mow my lawn or if the plumbing broke, my wife could simply call up the fire department and one of the guys that does plumbing on the side came by and, and fixed it for her. And, uh, you know, it's always the little things that, you know, they trimmed the hedges, they mowed the lawn, they helped out, you know, when needed. Um, so it was really, you know, like I got gift baskets from the city too when I was overseas and stuff like that from people from Public Works and from City Hall said, hey, we're still thinking about you. I would also like to recognize our local VFW scholarship winners who are moving ahead in the competition with their moving essays in the Voice of Democracy and Patriots Pen categories. You can read their full essays online at cityofshawneeorg slash Veterans Day. This particular uh, scholarship on both levels presents um, the concept of patriotism, Americanism, U.S. history, uh, all of that uh, civic responsibility, all of that is important uh, in our society and many times that is not taught in our society today. And so it's important uh, to remind students about this, to have them uh, intellectually deal with this, uh, just be able to talk with other students about this as they're writing the paper and then be able to submit it. We can all take note from our veterans, along with all the men and women serving in our military right now. You're shining examples of what it means to serve our country. Well, I'm proud to be a veteran. I'm glad that I spent the time I did in the military. And uh, that's important to me. It changed my life. Uh, I really feel that uh, Every person who goes to war and fights in a war comes back different, comes back changed. And it changed my life, and that's an important part um, in the, the history of my life, in my history, and how the things that I learned and the things that I had to deal with uh, coming back. I want to personally thank all of you. I hope everyone in our community takes time to thank you. The power of kindness is real, and spending a few extra minutes to tell someone what they mean to you or what their service means to you can make a real difference. You're an invaluable part of our city, and we sincerely thank you for everything you bring to our community. Have a wonderful Veterans Day.